Beseech the Mirror is finally here. Other content creators say this card might get restricted in Vintage. Let's find out. <laughs> Welcome back, Vintage Gamers. Wilds of Eldraine has been released on Magic the Gathering Online, and we have this hot new card, Beseech the Mirror. One triple black, search your library for a card, exile it face down and shuffle. However, if you sack an artifact or an enchantment or a token to bargain as you cast a spell, if the exiled card that you search for has a converted mana cost of four or less, put the exiled card into your hand or cast it. Cast it. <laughs> God, I, how do we screw up? I'm reading off a screen. A screen. Okay, anyways. um, So what we're doing is we are tutoring and casting cards uh, using this card. So what are the best things that we can cast off Besiege the Mirror? Number one single best card off the Besiege the Mirror, in my opinion, is Yogmoth's Will. Yogmoth's Will lets you cast all the things from your graveyard. So if you were to say, you know, use a Dark Ritual and sacrifice a Moxin, to cast Beseech the Mirror with Bargain, and then you cast Yogmoth's Will off your Beseech the Mirror, you could then cast your Moxin and your Dark Ritual from your graveyard, maybe cast the Beseech the Mirror again, and find the good old Tendrils of Agony. Uh, so a lot of your Beseech um, tutors are going to be for Storm Kills. Uh, there's also like a lot of things where like Beseech is going to cast another Beseech. So if you Beseech with Bargain and you have a bunch of Moxen going around, you can cast Beseech, Tutor uh, Beseech, and then Beseech with Bargain until you run out of artifacts to bargain with, and then go for Tendrils. So one Beseech with enough artifacts can also just be a ton of Storm towards Tendrils. Now, uh, the other powerful card that you will tutor for a lot is Tinker. Uh, now, please note that you do have to cast the spell you tutor for. So the cost of casting Tinker the additional cost of sacrificing artifact is still in play. So you uh, you have to sack an additional artifact uh, for, you know, Tinker's bargain cost. <laughs> so if you have two artifacts, you can Beseech the Mirror and Tinker for a Bolus of Citadel, which is very, very frequently winning the game. Uh, we have some other powerful cards that you can tutor for in specific situations, things like Necropotence. If you don't have a Storm Kill and you don't have enough artifacts for a Tinker, you could always get a Necropotence and refill your hand. Uh, I have included a card in the Great Creator for when card in the Great Creator is a one-shot against our opponent's decks. Uh, we've added a Shieldred uh, to the deck. I think it's nice to have a Shieldred to utilize off of Dark Ritual and Tutor for in certain situations. Uh, and it also makes this Twister better, which I wanted to include. I was thinking about just including Twister as like a normal Storm card, but having a Shieldred definitely makes the Twister better as like a you know, little two-card combination as well. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, we are in a Dark Ritual deck. Uh, I don't. It's very hard to cast Beseech the Mirror if you are not playing Dark Ritual. However, I will give it. A, I give, will give an attempt to cast uh, Beseech the Mirror with a non-ritual deck in one of my future videos. I have a bunch of other Beseech brews over here. One is using uh, Arkham's Astrolabe. One is playing Mono Black uh, with the Helm Leyline combo, and one is more of like a Mono Black Storm list. So I have a lot of different uh, ideas on how we could possibly use this card in Vintage. But first, we're going to start off with uh, TPS, the Perfect Storm, a Force of Will Storm deck. Uh, I've also included a Time Vault and Key, which are actually quite good targets to get off Beseech the Mirror. You can just get them and cast them. Uh, and, and of course, if we're playing Vault Key, we are going to play Urza Saga. So now Urza Saga is a little bit hard to use to cast a triple black spell. However, Urza Saga, the notable drawback for most decks is that Urza Saga is an enchantment. So it gets killed by enchantment removal. However, Bargain allows us to sacrifice an enchantment or a token or an artifact. So you could actually sack the Urza Saga as your bargain cost. So you could have an Urza Saga, an Underground Sea, cast a Dark Ritual, and sack the Saga as part of your bargain, which is quite nice. So I've actually been building all of uh, these builds with Saga, if I can uh, if I can help it. I don't think the, the Astrolabe build will have Saga, but we'll, we'll get to that at some point. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? So yes, we are kind of a low land count saga deck, and the reason is because I'm going to play Fort Lorien Revealed, the single best card that came out of the Lord of the Rings set. I'll probably make a video on that in the future. It's actually pretty interesting that this card, a common from the set, is the most powerful card that they printed in the set, even stronger than Orcish Bowmaster or the One Ring, which is really, really cool. 
Um, and then you just have a punch of restricted blue and black cards, Time Walk Ancestral Tutors. Um, I'm going to play a Dress Down and a Chain of Vapor as my pieces of removal. J dress Down is because it's probably the single best um, anti hate bear card to give you a turn to combo off, as well as giving you time against a certain like Saga all counter spell draw. Uh, and Chain of Vapor is because it's actually going to be a Storm Count card as well as a removal spell. Uh, anything else? So I'm choosing not to play any basics in my deck. I, I just don't, I would normally want to play a basic island in these kind of decks, but basic island is really, really bad in my triple black Beseech the Mirror deck. So I don't think we want that. Would it be okay to play a one ring in here? Uh, I think it, Necropotence is basically just the one ring. And for every time you go for the one ring, you probably are just going to go for Necropotence. Though it is worth noting you are casting the one ring off Beseech, so you would get the invulnerability. Uh, I don't currently own... Actually, I do have All Access Pass right now. So I definitely could play the One Ring. Hmm. Yeah, it's worth considering. I just kind of feel like you don't need it with Necropotence, but being able to tutor for a protection spell is also kind of interesting. I don't know where I would cut for it, though. Uh, so I think you would rather just play Virtue's Ruin because you want to, like, it's a better card to, uh, cast normally. Like, three mana is a lot less than four mana. That's the, the, the reason. Like, obviously, you might besiege for it, but... Yeah, I actually think a One Ring sounds really good. Uh, I didn't consider it because I haven't been owning them, but... Yeah, I don't know what we want to cut, though. We do need to cut for that. Anyways, I'm going to continue going with the um, the deck tech, and then I'll, I'll let the people know what we chose to cut at the end. So in the sideboard, I have some heavy hitters uh, like Opposition Agent and Virtue's Ruin. Uh, I have my different Tinker targets in Sphinx and Portal. I have a bunch of removal in the form of Snuff Out, Dismember, Dismember, uh, a Hercules Recall for Shops, Needle and Tabernacle, uh, and a Lattice for my Karn. And uh, so it's a pretty pretty straightforward sideboard. I think like Leyline is just the best thing. There's not much that's going on inside of the sideboard. It's a lot about the main and seeing what we can do with the main. Uh, and we'll try to see how it works today. I think so far my testing has been if you resolve Beseech the Mirror and the card you bargained for, uh, I have won every single game where Beseech the Mirror was uninterrupted. When Beseech the Mirror became interrupted or I wasn't able to cast Beseech the Mirror, that's when we ran into some issues. So we're going to have to check for that as we uh, play through this league tonight. See you in round one. Are you interested in weekly vintage metagame recommendations? Do you want to see your deck list played on my channel? Or maybe you are just looking for the best way to support my vintage content. Make sure you check out the Patreon link in the description below. Let's battle. All right, we've made it to round one. I'll just show chat. The, we quickly changed a one ring for the Karn and we put the Karn in the sideboard and took out the Lattice. The, uh, the reason this is because this Karn has been underperforming for me. I think it's a better as a sideboard uh, choice. And the run ring seemed like a pretty good inclusion. Um, something I wanted to mention in the in the intro that I didn't really mention that well is that uh, the bargain searches for a card, and then if it's four or less and you bargain, you may cast the exiled card without paying its mana cost. So you are going to put the second the tu the card you tutored for on the stack, uh, which you know opens you up to a lot of things like mind break trap. Um, if you like search for, you know, say you search for a one ring and put it on the stack, it can get steel sabotage, whereas the Beseech the Mirror couldn't get Steel Sabotaged. Uh, a very important interaction is that uh, if an opponent has an Archon of Amiria in play and you can only cast one spell per turn, Beseeching for a bargain is a bad idea as you will not be able to cast the card. So just uh, uh, things to keep in mind as we go through this league. It's a very interesting card. And here's a great example of why I actually really like Saga in this deck. Uh, because I have a Black Lotus and a land, so I couldn't cast the Beseech the Mirror, but I can't bargain because the Lotus is going away. If I had an Urza Saga, I could actually sacrifice the Urza Saga to bargain, uh, and then we would be able to, um, you know, get like a Necropotence and refill our hand. So let's do... Uh, we're still going to keep this hand, obviously. We have Beseech. Any Moxin draw gives us a turn one Beseech with Flusterstorm back up, so... Uh, I'm not really, not 100% sure. Let's see. If you spell is bargained, you may cast the exiled card without paying its mana cost if that spell's mana value is four or less. It kind of sounds like what you're saying is true, but, uh, I'm no rules layer here. Uh... 
So uh, so I would say I have played um, a couple of leagues with this deck, this card now, and I think it's good. Uh, but it is definitely like an all-in card. It has a lot of downsides. Um, I don't really expect this card to break the format or anything, but I do think it'll be played, and I do think it's worth playing. So we'll have to see how it performs in in the coming leagues. Obviously, the deck building costs of this are are quite constrained constraining you you need to be able to produce triple black and you need to be playing either an artifact enchantments or tokens it's worth noting that like tokens is pretty um a pretty wide range of things for instance if you had an orc army from an orcish bowmaster that could count as a token that you can bargain with uh so there's actually some pretty cool synergies with this card a lot opens up a lot of space but um yeah, I haven't seen anything so far that would make me say this card is uh, too good or anything like that. But it's definitely strong. Like, by all means, it's um, it's pretty nice. So the question is, do I would, would I rather just lose a Force of Will and a Fluster? Yeah, I think I'm just going to force this Grief. If they end up having land reanimate, it's unfortunate for me. But I, I think I need to try to protect my card if I can. I don't exactly know what kind of brew Kinda is going to be on today, but Kinda likes to play a lot of weird creature decks. So, Dark Ritual. Is this going to be another Grief, maybe? Or Beseech, maybe. Wow, so good. Play draw bonus. So, my opponent has two mocks in for this, too, so they can actually go for Tinker Citadel if they have it. Let's see if they have it. They might not have it, to be fair. We'll see. It might just be like Necro. It could be... Um, well, they didn't put a Helm. They chose not to put this Ley Line into play, so they pitched it to Grief. So they had this whole plan lined out, which is... I think this is a six-card hand from them. Six-card hand from them. Deterministic Kill. Is it? With Yogwill? One per... No, it's not, because they don't have any way to make black mana with Yogwill. Tendrils is not lethal. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are seeing, but feel free to enlighten me. <laughs> Where I'm, I'm, I'm in. Oh, get another besiege sacking jet. True. So if you get another besiege and you sack your jet, and then you get a yog will, and then you probably have a deterministic tendrils. Agreed. Instead, they went for necropotence, so that's good for us. They probably don't have any forces in their deck. So if we can hit a moxin and cast a besiege on turn one, maybe we can win. Okay, I, that's what I was missing. I was missing uh, the Beseech for a second Beseech, sacking your jet to get your jet in the yard. Then, yeah, I think that's definitely deterministic. Beseech for Beseech. Uh, Beseech for Yogwill. Replay, Mox, Mox. Ritual, Beseech for Tendrils. Yep, super super straightforward. Yeah, I mean, it's a strong card. Absolutely. It's, it's utilizing the broken cards of the format really well, is what I would say. Um... The card on its own, I don't I don't think is like the most powerful, but the cards that it gets to utilize in its deck are super strong. Like Yog Will is obviously a super broken card. Um And this is why you you, you do kind of want to play a Dark Ritual deck uh for your Besiege the Mirror for sure. Yeah, I'm surprised it lets you chain it with itself. Uh, especially in older, older formats where Storm is important. Um, well, if Kinda has never been exposed to Beseech, to Bese Beseech for Beseech, then they probably uh, don't know it, right? It, I don't think that was, you know, extremely apparent right away until you, like, did it once. So then once you know it once, then it's, like, very, very straightforward, right? So I assume my opponent is on like maybe mono black um, besiege combo if they if they showed us leyline of the void in the main. For what it's worth, leyline of the void is like pretty good against the mirror. Yeah, so they have like uh, reanimates and stuff. Here's troll of Kazadoom. So they shouldn't have any forces or anything. So if I can draw a mox in here, I can actually resolve my own besiege. And I did not draw a mox in. So I could besiege and not cast the card that I'm besieging for. What would that get me? Like, it would have to just get me, like, a force or something, and I'd be so far, super far behind. Can't imagine that's a good play. Uh, it's probably better just hold open Flusterstorm if I had to guess. Unfortunately, drawing a land is just super bad. Unfortunately, like, it, even worse, it wasn't a Saga. Like, if it was a Saga, then we could actually go for things. 
but because it was a watery grave. Here's a saga of their own. They still have a jet, so they can go for another besiege. Thankfully, we have a fluster storm for another besiege. Though, if they just like find another grief or reanimate, things could be more awkward. Though, reanimate, we could actually counter. Dark ritual, we could counter. It's mostly if they have like another grief. Yeah, I'm just going to fluster this. Don't want them to do anything off of this that is not an instant or sorcery. I think it's better to just hit the dark ritual. All right, again, we are just looking for a, something to bargain with. If we don't draw something to bargain with, we can just besiege for an ancestral, though, and just cast ancestral normally. They're not going to use any necropotences here. I would use at least two. All right, opponent should probably at least acrobite necropotence twice to get back to seven cards. Not activating necropotence there is a pretty big punt, I would say. Oh, they realized it right away, and we did not draw what we were looking for. Man. Not the best draws. I think we just need to get Ancestral Recall. Not the best 5 mana Ancestral Recall of my life, but I think it just has to be done considering how far behind we are still. I'm just going to get Ancestral. See what we can find. Got a tinker. All right. Well, if we live for a turn, <laughs> uh, we'll be okay. But I don't. I, we shouldn't live for a turn. But maybe an opponent missing the necropotence activation will kill us, or will we'll keep us alive for a turn. We'll see. Can't even tinker next turn. Actually, I guess we can. We can vamp for a mana crypt and then tinker and have top. And so it's we have lethal next turn. We have vamp for mana crypt, tinker for citadel, and citadel with an active top should be just very easily winning. Okay, that makes us slightly less winning. Uh, but we should still probably win from this. I think most of the time we'll have enough life that that shouldn't matter. I would say that we were not supposed to win this game. I think opponent needed to activate their Necro on their second turn, and it would have been a lot better. Obviously, opponent could have won the game on the first turn, assuming they have Yagmas, Will, and Tendrils in their deck, which they probably should. I can't imagine building any Beseech the Mirror deck without Yogwill and Tendrils. It just seems pretty straightforward. We can actually just like uh, find Tendrils really early too because they're at 4 life. So I'm going to go Vamp for Mana Crypt. Mana Crypt Tinker. And then from there we'll go on. Mm, no, I actually don't really see it being played in a Doomsday deck because you need enough blue cards in your Doomsday deck and you need enough things to bargain for. And Doomsday has neither of those. Yeah, we saw ill-gotten gains. Oh, I... Justin. Well, uh, can I still do this? Yeah, I threw away our victory here, but I clicked through my uh, my upkeep while I was talking to chat. So I can still do it, but I, don't, I won't have a top anymore, so it's going to be a little bit harder. It's okay. It's, I'm a streamer. It's, uh, it's on me. Uh... So if I hit a, a Force of Will or a um, a land off the top of my library, I will lose, unfortunately. But any, if I hit you know a, a Beseech the Mirror, we immediately win. So there's a lot of things that can happen. It's okay. The opponent gave us the turn one. So I guess technically we could get the one ring here, but that's not very good. Yeah, we immediately hit the Force of Will, of course, and now we are losing. It wasn't insane, but it should have been good enough. It should have been good enough. It definitely should have been good enough. It's very silly of me. Like, we had, you know, just five or six draws to work with or something like that. There might have actually been even a, a Yogwill. No, there wasn't a Yogwill. 
The good news is, I mean, we still have a force on top, so we might not die. We might just go pretty low, and then maybe we can still draw out of it. Um, we'll have to see what the opponent does, but just a misplay. Just wasn't looking. Uh, I don't think I want to force a Dothy Voidwalker. I need to wait for, like, a Beseech or something. This does kill me if it resolves, right? So. Oh, have the Yogwell on top. It's lethal, so. I think we'll be okay. Unless they time walk, maybe. All right, we're still going to be fine. Kind of wild, but it's what it is. This is just a quite simple Yogwell and then Beseech for Tendrils. All right. That was kind of a weird game. Um... Probably shouldn't have gone that way, but it's okay. We're all learning here together. Okay, so my opponent is on mono black Beseech combo. I don't really have extra anti-combo cards. Uh, I could theoretically bring in Leyline for their grief reanimate troll stuff. Not sure I'm into that idea. Definitely don't want snuff out. Do I care about dismembering a Bowmaster or a... Not really, no. Opposition agent is probably really good, though. Yeah. I definitely want opposition agent. That one looks good. But the counter spells don't look great. The Karn might be good, but maybe not on the draw. It's not even that good. Um... Dress down looks good. Mist up looks good. Shield is probably not very good. Mm, I don't really think Leyline is good enough. No. I, get, I mean, they have all the same things that we do. Maybe Leyline's fine. I don't know. I'm not sure. They definitely have Helm combo, but it's only, like, one piece. But, like, like, like what card do you want to take out? All my cards are broken. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to bring in a lot of Ley Lines. Like, all my other cards are too good to take out, right? I would say so. Our big advantage in this matchup is I'm a Force of Will deck. Also, to be very careful with how many blue cards you take out of your deck. Okay, so my hand has... Nothing? Oh, I definitely want the ring. I think this hand's bad. A lot of draws that win, but... The hand just doesn't do anything. Hmm. I mean, there's a lot of draws that instantly win the game. Any artifact is instantly wins the game. Um, it's mostly any artifact. 
can cast a lot of my cards. If I get griefed, I lose Tinker or Lotus, and then I'm like a lot farther behind. This is kind of like a DPS list. It's typically, I think, was historically referred to as TPS, the Perfect Storm, our Force of Will based Dark Ritual Storm decks. Um, but I'm not, I'm not an expert on stupid deck names, so. But yeah, it's a similar idea. All right, we don't, we'll try it. We'll give it a shot. I think a, a good percentage of our deck we can draw and do good things with. A card we wouldn't want to draw is Lorien, but even Lorien gets us a blue source. I don't know if that's a good, but... Yeah, but we don't really need lands, right? So. I think this is fine, but I, I mean, I'm not thrilled. Oh, 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 yeah. So here's Grief. So Grief will either take Black Lotus or it will take Tinker. Probably just takes Black Lotus. This does make it so we are for a lot further from doing things. This is definitely a very play draw dependent matchup as well. Yeah, you definitely want to order your grief triggers in the opposite way. So you can do the discard first and then decide if you want to keep your grief on the battlefield or protect it from a surgical extraction or, you know, a, a wide variety of things. Yeah, so Black Lotus, that makes the most sense to me. It really, it kind of hampers the the draws that we can draw here. If I, you know, like, I think I would normally put the first hand back, but I think it's worth trying for science, so. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, Lotus is the only good card in our hand, or the only card that lets us do Tinker, so. Lorien Revealed uh, actually gets a lot better now that we lost our Lotus, which is kind of funny. If we had drawn this Lorien Revealed and we had had our Lotus in our hand, I think we would have been kind of upset. So I think they're probably just splashing Ancestral Time Walk Tinker. Looks like they're going to go for Saga Tokens, which is a good sign for us, because we should be able to win without caring about Saga Tokens very much. Yogg will. Is that winning? So I have Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Yogg will. Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Black Lotus. No, I don't have an artifact to sack for Tinker still. Well, what about Tendrils? Storm 1, Storm 2, Storm 3, Storm 4, Storm 5, Storm 6, 7, short. We could maybe cast this Lorien. Dark Ritual... Three mana, Dark Ritual, two extra mana when I Yogg will, and then I get back up to four mana, and then six mana, six black mana, Lotus to six black mana, and three blue mana, cat, or maybe, I, maybe, I, maybe it's three black mana and six and three blue mana. We have enough mana to play Tinker, but we don't have an artifact to sack to play Tinker. <laughs> we don't have enough, we, we, we don't have any artifacts. I think we can actually Dark Ritual out of Lauren here. Oh, you think we can make a Saga token and maybe Tinker? That might be true, actually. I think we do have enough mana to do that. So let's see. 
Uh, Underground Sea, Dark Ritual 3, Dark Ritual 5, Dark Ritual 2, Dark Ritual 4, 6, uh, 6 and 9, and 7. Yeah, I mean, we have plenty, I think. I think we have plenty. Let's do it. Let's try it. Dark Ritual. I mean, we can get Mind Break Trapped, obviously, but who cares? We're here to game. Dark Ritual. Yog Will. Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Black Lotus, do we want to keep, probably want to keep two black, and two blue. And then we have tendrils if they force us, right? Oh, we're one short. That's kind of unfortunate. If they had mind break trap, we'd be one short. But we have citadel here, which should just give us lethal. Yeah, super lethal. Uh, cast with bargain. Cast dark ritual. Uh, I'd like to find. Uh. Just want to like look at their hand. Do I have anything for that? I don't have any. Um, I have a probe. It's like worse than I'm just getting a force, right? I guess I get a fluster storm. What if I just get a probe? Just like looking for like a fallback if for some reason they kept a uh, trap on the end of this. I guess I have mystical, so I can just probe them and see. So I can just like uh answer oh F3, F3, F3. Oh, Bowmaster, sure. Let me just uh ancestral first for fun. Yeah, I mean I was just casting it for storm mostly, but the fact that I can go and make sure that I don't need a counter spell is good. All right, yeah, they have time twister and grief in their hand. I have an extra fluster storm on the top of my library. Uh, this game is now one. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I agree. It, it does not make sense to not trap this, this, the tinker. But just because I can, I should. But yeah, I agree. Um, uh, the line where you use your saga because you had so many dark rituals, so you could use your saga to make an artifact to tinker for is a good line. I don't think I saw that right away. I think the line I was looking at was casting Lorien with my nine mana, which probably would have also resulted in a tinkering, uh, but not not guaranteed, obviously. So definitely better to do the guaranteed tinker. It's a little unfortunate that we didn't have enough to do the guaranteed tinker and be able to Lorien, but it's still pretty sick. Okay, fresh off of Four Seasons, we got the Italian PO Master across the table. Our hand consists of many, many magic cards that are good. Gonna keep it for sure. Well, we had a land drop to give actually with Citadel, Raphael. So it's, we actually didn't use a land drop that turn if I recall. We did, we used UC. Okay, true. Yeah, I believe you have to play Force of Will if you can do it in Vintage. Uh... Alright, so I think here I just have to cast Ancestral on their upkeep. If my Telerian Academy was any other ma mana source, I would wait so I could have Flusterstorm back up. 
but I think I'm just going to cast it now. Okay, this is this is not bad. I have a Force of Will and two Flusterstorms against P.O. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a Wasteland. Okay, I did not expect this. I have never, ever, ever seen this player play not Paradoxal Outcome. So that's very interesting. I actually don't have an artifact or... Uh, Anything to actually use my land cycling here. So I have to consider pitching a card. What card do I want to pitch? I'm thinking I'm just going to pitch the Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual does not look like the way that I'm going to progress this game. Pretty sure we're going to be going for some tinkering. Though I guess it depends on what deck my opponent's playing. If they're, if they're not playing P.O., I might have to reconsider. <laughs> okay, all right. Strip mine? We think it's shops? Do we think it's bizarre? What would a PO player switch to that has wastelands and strip mines? Could be uh could be the Lorien, uh the Mog deck. The you can play I played a Tinker uh Lorien reveal deck with Wastelands in my last challenge video. Alright. Fetchy Misty. Underground sea? Underground C, so maybe, maybe like I said. All right, use my mana here. Grab an underground C. Draw. See if there's an ancestral coming. Yeah, there is an ancestral coming. Um, I think that's just fine. Don't think it's a big deal to counter that. Just gonna set up a tinker with as many fluster swarms back up as I can next turn. Mm, they drew a mental misstep. That's quite unfortunate, actually. Because I was gonna sacrifice this. I would get like a black lotus and then I could sacrifice this. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna fight over it though. Opponent has eight cards in hand. I'm just looking to try to do my best to set up the best possible tinker I can next turn. So if I get a mana crypt. Uh, it's not actually great for me. So I might have to, like, Demonic for a Lotus and get a Mana Crypt or something. I don't know. We're gonna go for Tinker, though. I just need to figure out how to resolve it. Wasteland? Man, it's so frustrating. People are playing the good cards now. This is like the one of the best lands in the format. Maybe the third best land in the format. Something like that. I guess you have to include Strip Mine. I kind of include Strip Mine and Wasteland all in the same neat bow. All right. I, uh, I'm gonna cycle. Uh, all right. So I don't have a tinker here with fluster backup unless I draw some mocks in for me self. Me self. Yeah. Why not, Justin? Okay. I really don't want to cast this demonic into open fluster either, though. I feel like this is a moment I have to hold back one more turn at least. Mm, Academy, true. True. I always forget Academy. Academy got a lot better recently because it's super good with Lorien revealed. Lorien revealed. Okay, so it's going to be the Tinker deck with um, Wastelands and Sagas and Lorien revealed. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. It's kind of the... Uh, it's the current evolution of Tinker right now is to play the nine colorless lands. All I'm looking for is some Moxen. Yogwu. All right. How, how long can I really wait here, though? <sighs> I 
I could get a Black Lotus now and not cast Yog Will now and cast Yog Will next turn if my demonic resolves for some reason. I don't know. I still am drawing live to these other cards here, so it's like okay if this gets Bluster Stormed. It's not great for us if it gets Bluster Stormed though. Yeah, negation. So if you had a fluster storm, would you still negate here first? Because I can go in on double force, get y y Lotus Yogwell, Lotus Yogwell, ritual, demonic. Or maybe even Tinker. The problem is if I don't, I still have to draw into mana sources. So I think I am going to at least throw a force into here. I think I'm just going to go in. Oh, they have Fluster. Okay. All right. Well, I can't do anything about that. So... It is what it is. Would have been a real nightmare if I, my opponent let me resolve everything and then I went uh, Lotus and then they went Fluster at the end. But So I have some really good options still. Island Cycling, sure. They only have two cards left in hand. They have a Saga, so we do have a, they do have a Clock. But if we drop deck a lot of our deck for in terms of mana, it's even um, well, I guess a land doesn't do it because we don't have any mocks in our graveyard. We just haven't drawn any mocks in our seventeen, our top twenty or so. Hmm. Three cards in hand. Just draw a black lotus. Come on now. Do it for the culture. All right, well, so next turn, we can Yogwell and play a land out of our yard and do stuff. It well, means we'll take a couple hits from Saga tokens. <laughs> yeah, I've been... I've been on a little cold streak, for sure. I know. you think they'd do it for the culture. Uh-oh. One Construct token. That's not a good sign. That means they're doing something more powerful than Construct tokens. <sighs> hmm. That's old news, Rama. That's old news. <laughs> I wonder if they have a Soul Guide Lantern. Soul Guide Lantern would be quite annoying. They don't know I have a Yagwo. I think they know I have a Tinker, right? All right, Demonic. Is it going to be their own Tinker or? <laughs> ah, Volky, sure. So I have to force this pitching Tinker. That's fine. Just in case they have a counterspell backup. They don't have a... I wish they, I wish they had force backup here, honestly, because that would let me just Yagwo without having problems. Okay. My opponent has one card left in hand. I do still need a little help off this Yagwo, I think. I can't see anything deterministic right now. We have something like Replay Underground Sea, Dark Ritual, Demonic, Demonic for blue mana... For like Lotus and then like Ancestral Recall, but I don't see anything deterministic. Oh, force is not terrible. All right, I'm gonna cast this. This is our it's our time for our adventure here. Yog will. I do think that Underground Sea Dark Ritual Demonic for Blue Mana is better than going like Saga Top or something. So let's go Underground Sea. 
Dark Ritual. Demonic. I think it just has to be Lotus for triple blue. Cast Ancestral Prey. Is that the best? We don't have any other pieces in our hand. We used our land drop, so we can't get a saga. We might get a top at the end for if we don't hit anything good. I think that's it. I think that's the play. This gives us the most leeway. If I had pitched the Flusterstorm instead of the Tinker, we'd have more choices, but I think keeping the Fluster was correct. If this is a double box in or something, oh, okay. So let's cast Force from our yard, pitching Fluster. Draw. Wow, we hit like the worst. <laughs> we got one mana. All right, so we can we can play a top and spin a top still. Uh, maybe we'll find time walk or something. We found beseech the mirror time vault. Okay. So I keep the brainstorm on top for force and then I draw into brainstorm for turn. Well, if I draw beseech and time vault, will I be able to play all of it? No, right? Cause I'll have six mana next turn. So I'll be one short. I can't get Tinker. I can't do any Yog willing. Like I'm probably going to have to win this game with Volky, right? Well, the very at the very least, I'm supposed to spin. I wish I hadn't used this Emerald actually. I guess what I can do. Well, I don't want to do that either gonna say i could brainstorm but i think i want to have blue card all right i'm gonna go hold blue card on top of the library so that we don't die and we'll play from here the problem is we are getting clocked i need to think of a way to use this beseech that maybe doesn't involve volky well i could draw vault now and then draw and beseech well, no. Well, yeah, I could do that, actually. That could have worked, but I feel like I'm supposed to keep Force of Will up. It's my gut instinct. Yeah, I mean, have you met this player? Have you met this player? Has anyone met this player? I've met this player. I knew I had to keep Force of Will up. <laughs> Top deck Tinker for the win. <laughs> They are the most powerful of wizards. They are the best PO player right now in the world. <laughs> one does not simply just not hold Force of Will up. All right, the what I can do here is I can beseech for um dress down. I don't know if that's good, but I can do it. I mean, we're casting Beseech here, right? I just don't know what we're getting. Oh. I get the one ring. 
I only have eight life. The one ring is like a dress down, <laughs> kind of. I think the one ring is better than a dress down. I can then draw the dress down. Yeah, I I think we won't, we're gonna we're gonna get the run ring. Cast the one ring. Throw everything. Draw. Emerald, pearl. Draw. Play it. Go. I, I can draw another Beseech as well. All right, we'll see what the opponent draws this time. I guess they have access to a top, right? Which gives them tons of looks. Oh, Needle. Yeah, there could have been a Needle as well. True. I mean, I don't really have anything that's going to stop my opponent from doing top things. I didn't really have any remaining like good tutor targets because I've used my Yogwell, I've used my Tinker. Watch them just draw Time Vault. Or is that in their yard? Yeah, they could have Yogwell though. Yogwell kills us. They can also draw blue card force off of this. Technically, we make a blocker. They do have unblockable. This is what this is force of will. Damn. All right. They can also have a uh, orcish bowmaster. We drew a uh, mystical tutor. Okay. I mean, that's got to be good. What are we getting off this? Time walk? Oh, I kind of like time walk. I kind of like time walk a lot. I mean, we could beseech. We don't have anything that wins the game immediately with beseech still. So I kind of like time walk gonna draw us an extra bunch of cards, right? And we're gonna get the 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 the, the key the, the key off the ring. Yeah, time walk looks really good here. Time walk, draw. <laughs> okay. Hope this resolves. Oh, no! They drew the force! So we're dead. Even with a blocker. That's so nuts. They're so good, man. They're so good. <sighs> we block. And then we die on the next upkeep. That's crazy. They're so good. <laughs> Tinker into force. Okay. All right. Um, What do we want? We want anything? Op agent looks good. Kind of a similar idea, but they're a blue deck. I actually just like don't even think Karn is that good. Maybe on the play, we're supposed to play Karn. They have so many lands in their deck, though. Needle, Saga Mirror, maybe. Mm, tough to say. Probably don't want Twister, though. Kind of like Shieldred. Mystical, Twister, and Chain. It's probably fine. Hmm. Man, I thought we had that game. 
we like whittled down all their resources and then we were just one short really maybe i should have gone dressed down i don't know tough to say We couldn't really stop them from doing Sensei's top things. They could have found a load, a load of different cards that were good there, I'm sure. Pretty brutal, though. I like the way we played the game. We didn't draw very well in the beginning of the game, so we weren't in a very good position. Mm, possible turn two ring with force. Sure. Seems fine. Is the opponent revealing a ley line of the void? Or are they just mulliganing? Okay. Just going to play Saga. I, I, I don't really value constructs in this deck. Um, I, I mostly like to use Saga to try to find artifacts so i think god another all right i guess it's better than our dark ritual getting hit but i wanted to be able to find blue card for force like i, I think the number of games you win with construct tokens is pretty low oh maybe they're playing my deck exactly because there's a tundra interesting all right well i'm gonna do the jamming Maybe they'll wait and because they think it's a besiege and then boom, the one ring, spell pierce. Brainstorm, that's a good sign. It's a good sign. I wish I had a blue card for my force. No, there's no days in the nine colorless land. Wait, there was a days in the nine colorless land deck, but not in the Tinker version. Not in the Tinker version. All right, I got Force. Pitch yeah, they had Flusterstorm. <laughs> they let the Dark Ritual resolve because they thought I was going to cast Besiege, and then I hit him with the One Ring. Kind of great. All right, they have four cards left in hand. We have three cards left in hand. We have a Saga going off, but the Saga doesn't really get anything. But then we have another Saga, so maybe maybe this one's winning. All right, what do you got for me? They, oh, they got their own Saga. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Time Vault and Tinker. Tinker, awesome. Man, they are the best. I told you, chat. I told you they're the best player. They're the best player. They're too good. <laughs> Get me out. I have like a 0% win rate versus them. Like it's 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 like a 0% win rate. I swear. <laughs> No, I am perfectly happy being bad. Thank you for asking, though. Oh, what am I doing? Am I getting, like, Black Lotus and casting five mana Ancestral? I feel like I am. What else am I doing in my life here? I guess technically I could get a soul ring and use my watery grave, but I think I'd rather put a saga in play. I don't think it's better because you're asking me not to put the saga in play. I'm going to go Lotus. Oh, wait. This thing makes blue mana. I'm a fucking idiot. Wait, no, no. The Soul Ring doesn't make blue mana. I'm smart. Never mind. Chat's dumb. All right. What's the percentage chance we get another turn? I 
I don't know. There's there's nine colorless lands in their deck, right? They could brick. This deck is really bad at using Citadel. I mean, if we simply draw a blue... Fucking unbelievable! It's the best card! It's the single best card in the deck! In the whole deck! In the whole deck! It's... Th th it's every time they just play the best card in the deck. And I don't... I, what am I supposed to do? This is the best player in all of Vintage. True statement. Fact. Fact. Discover End doesn't draw like this. Then they get a Sensei's top and we're deterministically dead. I had to force it. I had to force the time walk because we are deterministically dead from here. It's fine. It's fine. We can just go next. Beaten in the arena of ideas. Okay, round three. Nothing happened in round two. Don't go back and look at the VOD. Absolutely nothing happened during that time. It was fun for the whole family. Nothing bad happened at all. All right, this hand's sick, sweet, awesome. Oh, it's Sean. It's Sean. We're going to get turn one. No, no, no. They're off of Mana Drain. They're on uh, Academy Rector now. That's that. <laughs> they, they're off of Mana Drain and Fire and Ice, and they are now on Academy Rector. So. They decided that if, if they're going to cast Beseech the Mirror, which they determined was a bad card, but if they are going to cast the bad card... <laughs> it's because we're going to go get Academy Rector. <laughs> uh, mold of four. Uh-oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, the questing druid was not up to par. So, well, they've mulliganed to one card. I believe uh, they've mulliganed to zero cards. Well, then. I'm going to try to show them as little cards as possible. Saga, Sapphire, Time Walk. <laughs> we, we used such a good hand. <laughs> for nothing. We, we used the, all of our luck for no reason. <laughs> ah, perfect. We don't have to show them anything. We're going to show them no cards that matter. It's perfect. <laughs> We, 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 we're going to show them Saga, Saga, Restricted Card, Restricted Card, Restricted Card, Restricted Card, and then they're going to concede, and they will have learned nothing. Except if they just go to Twitter, they know my whole list, so it's it's not really the smartest plan, but it's fine. You got you to gotta get the value from your opponent mulliganing to zero where you can. All right. We have successfully vanquished our opponent who did not play the game of Magic. Uh, I believe my opponent is on a Beseech deck. I'm just going to bring in... <laughs> we're going to play just mono, mono Tinker Mirrors. I'm just going to bring in an Opposition Agent, and I'm going to take out a Time Twister, and we're going to call it a day. I showed him Vault Key. Yeah, every deck plays Vault Key. If you're playing Urza Saga and you don't have Vault Key, what are you even doing? Who does that? <laughs> that? That comes with the package. It's a package deal. All right. This time... This time, we'll play a game of Magic the Gathering, I believe. Hello. 
Brought me a cookie? That's my favorite thing. How'd you know? No, cookie over here. <laughs> Chat, I didn't say that. There's no recorded evidence of me of saying that. Uh, I think this hand is bad. I think this hand is bad. But I do have a... Um, I think it's bad. Ooh, that's a cookie and ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> cream. <laughs> I'm disappointed it's not ice cream. It's so good, though. Okay. Thank you. What did you eat? No. I'm going to make something. Cookies does not count as dinner. All right. Uh, anyways, anyways, anyways. What am I doing with this hand? Am I mulliganing? Sure. Maybe. Why not? Mulligan. I'm going to keep this one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. That's good. Not as good as you. <laughs> All right. So my, my plan is Buster Storm their spell and then kill them. Oh, wait. It is, it is Mana Drain. All right, hopefully we can kill them on this turn, then. I think we can, right? We can cycle Lorien Revealed, and then Demonic for Lotus, and then Tinker with Fluster back up. It's just the ring deck. It's the ring deck. All right, nothing to be worried about. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> it's just Mana Drains, Relics of Saurons, and Fire and Ices. Oh, the top deck pedal. Now they can play Fluster Storm. Um, I have actually have a video recorded with opponent's deck. It's, it's, pretty, it's a really cool brew. Um, and it was a pretty fun video to make, so I have that video, it's in the queue. <laughs> I hate how Mishra's Workshop means mana drain. <laughs> True. Fair. Alright, I'm just gonna go Demonic Lotus, Tinker with Fluster back up, and against their four cards. I think that makes the most sense here. Demonic. Lotus. Lotus. Tinker. They are protected this turn, so we do need to take extra turns before killing them. Beseech. So this will be just Beseech with no bargaining. So we can just get like a top or something like that. It's probably fine. I want that though. I think you just get top with this, and then it's pretty straightforward from there, right? Uh, I'm going to draw through Mana Crypt for now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You are here early. Uh-oh. Don't want to cast that one against my opponent's permanence. Just draw through it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love Urza Saga, my favorite card. Uh-oh. <laughs> Chad, I'm dying. I'm dying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I can't even look at their hand.
So I can cycle twice as well. I'm just trying to keep enough life that I can beseech. It's like no reason to cast this over just draw and play. Okay, what does this get me? This gets me time walk, but I can't win the game, right? So what's the point? Wait, what about Yogwill? I can't cast Yogwill because I'll be at three. And I can't win with Tendrils anyways because they're protected. I need to take a time walk turn. I don't want to play this Mana Crypt out if I can help it. Maybe I just go to two, go to one, and I play Time Walk. It's just not good, right? It's just not good. Yeah, this is till their end of their next turn. So what we need to do is like take infinite turns, really. Or do for a Citadel double activate, but we haven't hit like none of our mocks in, right? So um Yeah, but, but once we have infinite turns, we can sculpt a hand that doesn't lose. I don't think I'm supposed to cast this vamp, so I'm going to go through it. I now draw the Beseech? Maybe I should have spun? <sighs> I don't I haven't even drawn like a, a dark ritual. This is, this is crazy. Oh. Uh. Do I just, like, play the stupid Mana Crypt and die? Like... What are you supposed to freaking do? Yeah, but if I... If I, I can't cast anything off the top if I draw. And I won't be able to force or anything. I think I'm going to pass. I don't think I have a high chance of winning if I shuffle. Like, I have Mox and I can hit. But it's not even like I have a Dark Ritual in my hand either. I'm how many cards deep? I'm 28 cards deep. All right, well, let's just go next. Bottom, 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 bottom. There's no chance I have a saga use use a saga in this game. I feel like a land is not what I want in my hand anyways either. This this this. Second fluster, I don't know, something like this. I mean, I think I'm losing this game by a lot now because my opponent's going to draw another three cards this turn. I, how could I ever really win? But we'll give it a shot. Like, if we resolve a Yogg, oh, we will win still. But, uh, yeah, hasn't been good to us. I didn't end up using my Flusterstorm, so I also lost that land drop. What did I use the mana on? I don't even remember now. Oh, I used it on the Sensei's top. The Sensei's top play was totally acceptable. 
I mean, I think most of the time you get Sensei's top and it's like mostly deterministic when you have 20 life that you're going to win the game. It just wasn't because we had no Moxin in our top 20 or top 30. I guess we had Lotus Sapphire already used. So we were missing the other Moxin. Maybe there's not that many Moxin in my deck. I did get rid of the Opal and stuff. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do now. The good news is if we can still win, um, they don't have protection anymore. So it's easy to win now. <laughs> we just have to win somehow with no life. If we draw a Dark Ritual, we can draw the Dark Ritual with our Sensei's top. Cast it and Mana Crypt, Beseech the Mana Crypt, and get Yogwill, and we'll win. So it's not that outlandish that we can still win this game. Four cards left in an opponent's hand. They're casting Demonic. Sure. Any black source, and we can just cast Besiege as well. True. So I probably should not have gotten rid of the Underground Sea. <laughs> I was kind of hoping we would be able to cast Flusterstorm back up. I feel like that's important. But yeah, I probably should not have rid of, ridden the under, Underground Sea. I probably should have gotten rid of the Dress Down instead of the Underground Sea, or the Gitaxian Probe instead of the Underground Sea. That's probably true. This is going to be Time Walk with Fluster or Pyroblast back up. Yeah, I have to force this. I have no I have no life. I definitely, definitely, definitely should have kept my underground sea. I just another beseech. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um. So let's brainstorm. I guess. There's my Dark Ritual. All right, well, I, I don't have any Counterspell backup, unfortunately. But I at least have a play. So I can spin, draw, and try to find an underground. I should never have gotten rid of the underground sea. This game is actually won if I keep the underground sea. Because what I can do is I can play the underground sea, and then I can dark ritual and have fluster storm back up. But I, I messed up, and I just got rid of an underground sea for no reason. So now I'm stuck praying my opponent does not have a counter spell. All right, looking for an underground sea here. I found a watery grave, chat. A watery grave. Okay. I mean, I, I lost this game on my own here. It's my fault. All right. So, yeah. I have uh, one play and one play only. Hope my opponent has nothing. They should let this first spell resolve and then counter the Yogwill. I think I have to Yogwill, right? I can't just Tendrils. What if I just Tendrils instead, actually? Oh, <gasps> that's so much better. I get all my life back. I should just Tendrils. Fuck it. I guess... Seems a lot better, right? All right, now I got Force back online. I have a probe in the top of my library. Okay, here we go. Now, if I hit a Dark Ritual, I can Beseech the Mirror for a Yogwill. It's all straightforward and easy. Oh, it's easy. It's so easy. Okay, woo, woo. I can't believe we almost lost this game. That is crazy.
Uh, do I want to try to find a blue mana? I guess I could just probe them, right? All right, they have absolutely nothing. All right, cool. Awesome. Sweet. They never had anything. Their whole deck is air. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, it was never it was never in doubt. At no point in that game did we think we were going to lose that. No, nope, not even once. All right, onward and upwards. Round four on the play. What do we got? What do we got? We've got a lot of black cards. Do we have turn one Citadel? One mana, three mana, six mana? We sure do. Well, I don't uh, say no to this, so. Any, any turn one Citadelers? Any resolvers? Resolvers in the chat? Nope. Unlucky. Sad Justin. It's okay. I only spent three cards for that. <laughs> I'm sure that won't come back to bite me in any way. Time walkers? Time vaulting. Okay. Another underground sea mirror. Not a bad draw. Not a bad draw at all. Pretty good draw. If we don't die, I guess. I'm so over Volt Key. Can we stop playing Time Volt Key? Natural Time Volt Key. I just can we can we not do that? <laughs> I'm so over it. It's so boring. Let me do fun things. I'm gonna bring in Karn and Opposition Engine, like I said last time, and I'm gonna take out. We've kind of played the same matchup like every single time, but it's fine. <laughs> Hey, I, I, Rama, you gave me your bad luck. You were talking about natural Volky in chat. <laughs> you gave me your bad luck. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm ready. You're ready? You can't eat the meat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't see the meat. Oh, right, we're still in the middle of a round.
Oh, I freaking muted myself. When did I mute myself? When I when when I stopped talking. Quick chat, tell me if you need to go. We need to go over what I what I was saying. I don't remember. It must have been when I was like here and like rubbing my head a while ago about the keep. She's all right. I don't. I was talking about how I was going to brainstorm off of Lotus and then shuffle with my Lorien reveal. And then I brainstormed and I was talking about which cards I was going to draw. And I like didn't want to draw Ancestral Recall, but I didn't. I drew, I, knew, I drew Volt Key, which is what my opponent did to me. So now it's their turn to feel the pain. And then I said, no, Frog's a boy's trip. And that's it. That's all you missed. I win the game. Mm, nah. <laughs> Do I feel good? No. I mean, I, I kind of deserve it though, right? Because I cast Brainstorm, whereas my opponent did not cast any draw spells. I feel like it's... Man, this hand would love a little Beseech, a little Yogwill, a little Tendrils kill. Boys trip. Boys trip. <laughs> it's okay, you're getting a piano. No, 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 no. Legacy casting brainstorm means you don't deserve it. If you don't cast brainstorm in legacy, you're doing it the hard way. Whereas, I mean, Vintage, you probably also still don't deserve it. We don't talk about that. It's fine. That's a why. Why don't you? Thank you. I guess I could also do a beer. <gasps> what? You want the beer? You have a beer? Which beer? You want to split a beer? Oh, a lot is a sour monkey. Okay, you can have it. Letting this demonic resolve. Hopefully, they get ancestral and we can misstep it. If they get tinker, we still have force. We are kind of just looking to draw action. Another blue card isn't even that bad of a draw either. Technically, we have hard cast force, heart, and uh, off cast misstep. Ooh, probe. Would you ch chat? Would you? Would you probe here? It's some value. I kind of want to probe here. I think it's good. Just get perfect information. Sweet. I got water. Opponent did get Ancestral. They also got Negation. So if they go on our turn, they can uh, protect it. They have Lorien. Not, not a great hand from the opponent. Not a great hand from the opponent. So I think what we'll do here is we'll go Saga... Lotus, Lotus, maybe I can, I can just cast a uh, top right now. And then on my next turn, I actually still have force and a uh, misstep up because I have all this mana. I figured my opponent would get ancestral, but there's definitely like worlds where they get tinker or something, but with this hand, you can't get tinker. So especially with no backup, like they can. They can cycle on their turn. Um, yeah, and then Ancestral on our upkeep with negation backup. But will they negate if I go misstep? That's the big question here. Maybe they'll just play Hold Reacher. Hold Reacher, not that good on this board. Our deck doesn't really need to draw cards. It definitely draws cards. They might just wait in general so that they can hold up. I mean, we know about Hold Reacher now, though. So it's not like there's a surprise Hold Reacher anymore. Another Dark Ritual is definitely not something I'm interested in, but it is what it is. So they didn't cycle, so I assume that means they want to cast Hold Breacher. No, they're going to go Ancestral? Interesting. All right, well, 
Sorry for your loss, opponent. I have a mental misstep. Will you pitch your Lorien to your negation to counter my mental misstep? The age-old question. They will. They will. Okay. So... Can I use this dark ritual in a way that I can force this and then still make a construct token? So if I were to crack this for dark ritual mana, and then I would have seven mana, so I would have to use either both my rituals or all of my petals and stuff. The problem with using all of my petals is I won't be able to make a... I don't really need to make a second construct token. I could, of course, keep my Lotus Petal and just crack this and this. And then use my Lotus Petal next turn. I guess it's kind of the same. But I could get a spin and a fetch, maybe. Mm. I'm not actually sure what the best way to use these are... I think I'm going to go... Well, I think I want to save a second Dark Ritual for, like, a Beseech, because a Beseech is just lethal. I think I'm going to go Dark Ritual, make a Construct, and I'm just going to do everything. I think making a Construct's better than spinning? Hmm. That's an interesting... I'm not actually sure it's better than spinning either. I mean, Volt Key is already lethal. I don't need it to be lethal. I think I'm going to spin, actually. Also, <laughs> see? See, chat? This is why we keep the Dark Ritual. I guess technically this Tinker is also going to be lethal. I mean, this Beseech might even be for Tinker. I guess with a Dark Ritual and a Beseech, is that a lethal Tendrils? Sack one, sack two. Constructs we each in, in both matchups. I lose the Saga and I get another thing. It's probably better to just tinker for a Citadel, though I guess we had that problem last time, so maybe we just take the Terministic so uh, Mirror. Well, the Saga gets sacked. I get another artifact. I can sack that artifact as well. So I can do, like, the Beseech, 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 Yogwill. It's probably lethal. Let's just go for it and see how it works out. Could be fun. It's got to be super close, right? Tinker gets Volt Key. True. So does Beseech. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it all wins. I think it all wins. I kind of want to do the Storm Kill because it sounds like a lot more fun, but... We can also just Beseech for Time Vault. I don't know. Maybe that's just better. I'll just beseech for time vault. We'll save ourselves time here. I guess this is worse if they counter it. I mean, it's all bad if they counter it. Nothing's actually good. It's fine. We'll just give a key. I have to bargain the, the sensei's top. I'm not sure, like, which of these lines plays around the most cards. I don't really feel like thinking about it, but I'm pretty sure Tinker for Volky wins. Tinker for Citadel probably wins. Uh, Beseech for Beseech for Beseech for Yogwell for Tendril's Kill is a win. Uh, and then Beseech for Time Vault is also a win. So... Yeah. By Dark Ritual, and then Tinker off of top. Yeah, I mean, Tinker's also a win. Everything, I think everything is a win. So, it kind of depends on, like, which one plays around the most cards, and I don't know the answer off the top of my head.
Okay, here we go. Fifth and final round of this Vintage League. Looks like we're going to have a rematch versus our previous round opponent. So, five Underground Sea Mirrors. This hand slaps. Big slaps. Huge slaps. So much jewelry. I'm the king of the streets. Walking around. Three neck pieces. Crazy. Show me your hand. I run this town. Opponent has a... That is not a keepable vintage hand opponent. I would not keep this hand if I were my opponent. My opponent has three lands, Probe, Merchant Scroll, Narset, Demonic. This this would be a fine keep like two or three years ago, maybe three years ago. But now, I, I would not be keeping that hand. It's just not fast enough for what people are doing in the format these days. All right, what do I want to do with my hand? I'm going to get the Yogwill back, Probe, Ancestral next turn. So I get to just go for a top and a spin. And I can even cycle it away. Oh, we're just killing them next turn with Beseech? Or no? Do We don't have enough black mana, right? Currently, we don't have enough black mana. So, I mean, we're still going to draw it because we're going to do another draw five next turn. We'll probably even just misstep their probe. Yeah, this is fine. We're just going to be super far ahead. I think I'm going to misstep this probe knowing their hand. Just don't want to give them anything. And then I have force back up for my draw five. Draw four, I guess, because I'm drawing for turn. No. And then we just kill them with... um. Besiege and, and uh, Black Lotus on the turn after. So it's just super straightforward. Easy kill. Easy life. Oh, they drew something. They drew a top. That doesn't matter. All right. So go to my turn. Tap my Saga for mana. Cast Yogwill. Cast Probe. Cast Ancestral. Uh, I don't know. Probably. Draw these draws were not actually great, but it's fine. I don't have to do this now. I just chose to fluster. So I get fluster back up next turn for my kill. Sure. I guess maybe saving Yogwill is better. It's possible. We're just going to go Vault Key next turn. Oh, wait, no, we're not going to go Vault Key because we're not going to be able to get a Vault off this. This is going to be Merchant for a Force. It's fine. Oh, the Merchant for an Ancestral. Sure. That's a, I mean, I love their optimism, you know? So I guess I just get Tinker. <laughs> Though the last time I got Tinker here, it didn't really work out for me, huh? Is there an actual lethal here that's not involving... Like, I guess it would be a Vault Key of some kind. But I don't have Triple Black because I chose to play a Saga instead of a, a, a real land. So, no. If I had played a real land instead of a Saga, then I would be able to just get a key and then Beseech for the Time Vault. But instead, we're going to do a bunch of game actions. So... I just used my Yog Will. I can't I can't beseech for will. <laughs> yeah, we, we had Lotus double beseech if we uh I mean we don't even know we don't even need double beseech. We just like we just should not have played a second saga. Sagas are bad. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just gonna tinker. I don't really care. I, I just, there's a lot of times in life where you need a blue or a black mana. And I highly recommend playing a land that produces blue or black mana. They drew a force for turn. That's crazy. It's their best possible. Misplays are bad. No, no, no. I, I, I'm the streamer. I've never made a misplay in my entire life. I forgot to... Yeah, whatever. I'll just get rid of this. Oh, okay. 
Draw cast. Just play it. God, I just don't like it. Just let me, just give me cards that matter. <laughs> oh my God. All right, I cast that. Draw through that. Oh, I cast, I draw, I cast this and then I have infinite. All right, cool. Easy. Wait, was there any chance I could have gotten Shieldred in that other game where I had a really bad Sensei's top? <laughs> I mean, the minute I hit any tutor, I win the game. I have so many, right? I had three Mystic, uh, Beseech, I like, Be Be Beseech the Mirror, Time Vault, uh, sorry, Demonic Tutor, Mystical Tutor, Vampiric Tutor. So many things that just instantly win. Uh, yeah, I'm going to bring in Opposition Agent and Karn, and then I'm going to take out Twister and Chain. Easy in, easy out. Yeah, I mean, I didn't expect to, you know, find the answer, like, 17 cards down, for what it's worth. I think this deck is not really a bad, like, we've had some bad Citadels, but I don't think this is a bad Citadel deck. This deck is very similar to, to Tinker Doomsday in the way where, like, you just hit the certain spell and you instantly win. Mm. Yeah, I think it's reasonable to go DT Lotus Necro here. Seems fine. It's it, this hand is definitely middling, but it's not as bad as the can my opponent kept last round. I'm keeping this hand, but like I, I'm you know conceding to the fact that this is not the strongest hand I could have. <laughs> These other cards are not great, but it does give me like decent follow ups, right? I still have some extra play here. Like, if my opponent does, uh, you know, a, a strong tinker thing or anything that requires me to have interaction, it's bad. Saga, that doesn't require anything. That's just a colorless land. No one cares about that card. I probably should have played... Well, I don't want to lose so much life. Maybe not. But I don't get a... Mind Break Trapped, huh? They are F6, though, so... All right, I'm going to draw at least seven. Let's draw seven. Let's draw eight. Eight. Eight's a good number. Why did I stack this automatically? All right, what F6? Okay, um, we have a Force now, we have a Yog will with Demonic and Lotus in our yard. How often do I think I would Beseech for Necro? I don't think super often, but it has come up already. Uh, in, in like, turn one Besieges can sometimes be for Necro, where you can't like, get a Tendrils kill and you don't have enough artifacts to tinker, stuff like that. Uh, I, I have already cast Beseech on turn one and Beseeched away Necro on turn two twice, actually. That actually comes up quite a bit. I right, get rid of this. Uh, get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Probably don't need a second Beseech. Something like this, maybe. I'm looking for like, a, a turn two Storm Kill here. Oh, I guess I don't have triple black because I didn't keep the watery grave again. How am I this bad at the game? <laughs> I guess what we can do is we can vamp and then brainstorm into something. I guess we don't have a black lotus to do. I'm pretty bad at this game, huh? <laughs> we can't. We used lotus to play the, the necropotence. I should have kept the uh, Watery Grave over Saga. Every time I've ever chose Saga over, like, any blue-producing land, it's always been wrong. <laughs> uh. I can say, like, with pretty high certainty that we played this league at maybe 50% capacity, mental capacity, mental proficiency. And we're still going to go 4 1, so.
Well, if I vamp for a dark rit and then brainstorm into my dark rit, I will no longer have the black mana to cast dark rit, right? So. I guess I could just cast the Yog Will and just get the Black Lotus back, and it's probably still winning. <laughs> That's probably what's going to happen, to be honest. Saga Jet, Yog Will, Lotus. It might mean I don't have enough to uh, Tendrils, though. Maybe well, Tinker's kind of bad. I always draw a bunch more cards too. Though the cards that I discard don't go in my yard for my neck for my Yog Will. Sad day. I don't know. I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do now that I decided not to keep my third black source for fun. <laughs> I also didn't keep like another blue card, so I don't have um, the brainstorm if I have to force something. If I go Yog Will with four black mana after, I can go. <laughs> I mean, it's not even that bad. Like, it's really not that bad to go Saga Jet, draw, draw cards, and pass. It's really not that bad. But they do have an active saga that could turn into a soul guide lantern, maybe. That could be annoying. They could have a... I don't know what they're thinking about. They have a combo kill. They're going to do something cool. All right, here we go. What we got? Needle... Okay, I'm going to draw a couple more cards with my Necropotents now. Just so I have them in case my Necro gets needled here, which is what I think is happening. Obviously, I don't get these cards till my next end step, but I think that's okay. Maybe they'll name Manifold Key. That seems kind of unlikely, though. Necropotence has been named. Well, this card's coming to me. It's not like this card's going to go away. I don't get it. All right, I'm just going to go Saga Jet Go. I think that's the best play. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of the probe. I'll get an underground C and we're in tip top shape here. We can do anything we want. I can bargain away the necro and I will. Once I get a black mana. I guess technically I have a yog will for black mana as well. We might vamp and brainstorm. I'm not sure. I could maybe I could have kept another blue source. Kept the probe. Yeah, maybe we should kept the probe. I don't know. The vamp could become in handy. You're I know you're against this vamp, and we do have an Ecropotent in play. I get it, but Well, I'm not gonna be able to draw the card that I am tutoring for. Would I still get the cards if I bargain? Yeah. These are in exile and are coming back. It doesn't have anything to do with the Necro being in play. Oh, brainstorm into it? Sure. But why do we need a, a Dark Ritual when we have um, Lorien revealed? But maybe we want a Dark Ritual and that way it makes for an even better Yogwell.
could do it. I'm not really sure what the best way forward is, to be honest. We have, like, just so many good things happening. It's kind of an embarrassment of riches. But my opponent can easily have, like, multiple pieces of counter magic and make us uh, sad. We could end up brainstorming end of turn and having my opponent have a hole breacher. Like, there's a lot of things that can go badly here. This one's a good one. Sure. This game definitely should be different. I definitely should have not had a saga, and I should have had a watery grave, and I should have been able to cast my Beseech on my second turn. It would probably... Probably would have done that. I don't even have an opportunity in my deck right now. I could have, right now, I could have gone vamp. Well, I can't, I don't have enough black mana, but if I had enough mana, I could go vamp, opposition agent, brainstorm an opposition agent, cast opposition agent. Sweet plays. I wonder what, like, the, the, the best play I can do here where I'd get plays around the most things. Not really sure, actually. I feel like I want to cast Besiege before I cast my Yogwill. So, kind of, there's a lot of upside to getting a Dark Ritual and going Dark Ritual Besiege into Yogwill. Alright, 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 yeah, you... You're going full slasher right now. You don't want to go full slasher. <laughs> I'll see you back in three minutes. <laughs> Uh, Narsa, huh? All right, let's go get the Dark Dark Ritual. It's weird, though. It's the opposite slasher. It's cut Urza Saga at all costs. So it's the opposite of slasher. But you still went full slasher in the opposite direction, so... Uh oh, is our brainstorm gonna get countered? So our vamp is is off. Uh oh, I think that's a good thing for us. Oh, ancestral. Mm. I don't think that matters. They already play the land this turn. No, they haven't played... No, they did. They played a, a Talarian this turn. So, this is fine. Unless they draw a, a counterspell off that and then a counterspell off Narsa. But, like, if I force the Ancestral and then they draw a counterspell off Narsa, then it's really bad for me, right? Oh. Well, I guess Tinker is, like, kind of garbage because I don't have any life, right? Whatever, it's fine. We're just going to go for our, our win on the next turn here with our tendrils, so. We should have uh, double, like, we shouldn't need to beat, we should be able to beat double counterspell because we have one counterspell plus double action where we cast Besiege first and then we cast Yogwell. And they can't even have Flusterstorm up unless they hit exactly Sapphire. I'm not saying that I played this game optimally because I think I didn't play this game optimally, but I think we'll be okay. I feel like there's a lot of learning to do with this. Like, there's some play patterns are kind of odd. It reminds me of Tinker Doomsday a lot. It has these just, like, very unique sequences. So, my plan here is going to go Sapphire, Dark Ritual, Beseech, Sack Necropotence, uh, actually, it's probably going to be Beseech, Sack a Moxon. Uh, and then into a Beseech, Sack a Necropotence, and a Moxon. I'm going to cast, like, three Beseeches. And then I'm going to Yogwill them all back. What did my opponent find? A Pearl? It's fine. Oh, they found a Black Lotus. That's bad. Children. 
I don't think Shieldred matters at all. All right, so now they're just going to die. You would think that Narsa and Shieldred are good against what I'm doing, but they're just not. I also don't draw for turn. <laughs> Too funny. All right. So make all this. Cast Dark Ritual. Cast Beseech with Bargain. Cast Beseech with Bargain. Cast Beseech with Bargain. And then get, I don't know, Soul Ring for fun? Dark Ritual? Sure, let's do Dark Ritual. Cast Dark Ritual. Cast Yogmoss Will. Cast Dark Ritual. Cast Mox. Cast Mox. Cast Mox. Cast Lotus. Cast Dark Ritual. Cast Beseech. And cast Tendrils of Agony. Fun. It kind of reminds me of the personal tutor cast uh, personal tutor personal tutor personal tutor personal tutor deck. Yeah, you remember that deck when we did the um, it was the personal tutor PO storm deck, and we would just put four personal tutors on the top of our library with the citadel to make enough storm to win. That was pretty fun. All right, so this was a, a pretty convincing four one, where our only loss was to a very powerful wizard on blue black wasteland deck. Um. We did play five underground C decks in this tournament, and one was not a force deck, so I guess that's kind of a misnomer, but we didn't really play against a large swath of the field. We didn't play against Mono White. We didn't play against Bizarre. Uh, we didn't play against, you know, all those other decks. But against the decks we did play against, our deck did function, and our deck did things really well. Um, pretty happy with how the deck performed. I'm not seeing any immediate changes that I'd like to make. I think that the one ring edition was actually quite good. I liked that a lot. Uh, and then everything else seemed fine. We were boarding in, obviously, Opposition Agent Karn a lot and boarding out Twister. Um, but that's just because of the matchups we were playing against. Like Twister Chain, you board out in, against those blue matchups and you bring in Karn and Opposition Agent. It makes a lot of sense. So, so far, so good. I think this is uh, a great start. I definitely, my 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 initial uh, evaluation of Besiege the Mirror in Vintage is that the card is good. Playable. Maybe good is too much. Playable is the word I'm going to say. Uh, there's a lot of downside to building a Dark Ritual deck, and there's a lot of downside to having your spell sacrifice something as part of the cost. Obviously, uh, you know people know that. When Tinker gets countered, it leaves you in a very rough space where it's hard to come back from. Uh, but this deck gives you some unique lines, and it makes for some interesting uh, gameplay experiences. So I'm um, really excited to keep brewing in this space. I have a bunch of other ideas uh, in the same vein as this. Uh, I have some Storm Kills. I have some Mono Black Leyline Helm decks. I have some good ideas. So there'll be more streaming uh, with Besiege the Mirror in the future, and I have a couple other ideas for other cards in the in the new set as well. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, there are new YouTube gameplay videos on this channel. I will see you then.